Tons of more homeless camps are popping up in St. John's County. These new pictures show what's been left behind at at least five different areas of St. Augustine. I'm Tanika Hughes. I'm John Bachman. In November, St. Augustine's mayor told Action News Jax there are not enough resources to help the homeless population. New at 530, Action News Jax investigator Courtney Cole is live in St. Augustine. Courtney, you've been pushing for answers about what's being done with these abandoned campsites. And I'm actually standing in one of the campsites. We're on 207 and 312, and I just want to be able to show you guys what I'm talking about. You can see just how fresh this is. They have like a, a tent set up here, and there are cushions left behind and clothes, signs of life, a suitcase here. Now, no one was here and inhabited when we came to check on it, but in the last two hours, I heard from the St. John's County, I heard from St. John's County, and they're working on telling me about each of the sites and if they're working to clean any of them up. Clothes, tents, shoes, garbage. This is what's left behind at a number of newly discovered homeless camps in St. Augustine and St. John's County. Evelyn Hammock shared this post on Facebook with more than 28 pictures of a handful of different sites. You can see more than 100 people have commented and it's been shared more than two dozen times. Hammock gave us permission to use these pictures because she said she wants to see something done about the sites. One of them is even located right behind a popular Applebee's on State Road 312. I spoke to one Applebee's employee off camera and she tells me she's fine with it being there. She just wants it to be a little neater. When I reached out to St. Augustine's Mayor Nancy Shaver, she told me there are at least 35 to 40 camps in total just like these in and around St. Augustine. But the biggest problem the city and county face besides not having enough resources to help the homeless is determining if the camps are located on private property. Mayor Shaver says it's not illegal to camp on private property and it's up to the owner of that property to determine if they can stay. Now, when things are left behind on a property like this one, St. John's County told me typically they can't get involved until someone files a complaint with code enforcement, and that's why it's so important for them to let me know if they've already started working on some of these sites. Again, there are four to five newly discovered sites by neighbors here in the county. I'm going to continue to work with the county, and I'll let you know about the progress of each of those sites, both on air and online on actionnewsjacks.com. You can also follow me at Courtney and Jax on Twitter. Reporting live in St. John's County, Courtney Cole, CBS 47, Action News Jax.